Good morning and thank you for joining us, going to the cabin again here in Chase Talkeetna. We just escaped Wasilla. It was 42 degrees, I think it was, right? Somewhere around there, yeah. yeah 42 degrees and raining. It was just really unusual for this time. Well, I shouldn't say unusual. We do get these kind of warm spells once or twice in the winter time, but it's just not very pleasant. <clears throat> Anyway, we're on the way to the cabin. My daughter Isabel and her dog Adlin. Adlin. Adlin, come here. Hey. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's just taking a break. So we're going to the cabin. Tasha decided she's going to stay uh, in Wasilla this weekend. She's got a lot to do, catch up work, and uh, also she wants to spend time to get ready for spring. Do all the uh, create all the plans for our vegetable gardens and uh, greenhouse boxes we want to build, the greenhouse we want to build. So she's got a lot going on this weekend. She decided she's going to stay behind. And uh, Isabel and me and Natlin, we're going to continue working on the inside of the cabin upstairs, get the paneling done, running some wiring. And hopefully we can snowshoe a little bit and ski. Talkeetna is 36 degrees right now, I think, so a little bit above freezing, but no rain, so it should be a, a pretty nice weekend. Good boy, Adam. Let's see where the temperature is. 32 degrees. So a little bit above freezing. Come on, Adlin. Adlin. Let's see if anybody's home. Be colder in here than outside. Okay, so we're gonna open up the door now. It's 
snow it a little more since last weekend we were out here, but not very much when it's very wet snow. Yes, the roof is dripping. So we'll get a fire going, make it nice and warm inside, and I'm pretty sure by the end of the day that roof is going to unload. All right, it's that time again. We're gonna check our spring, get some water. Last time we were here, we had a little problem blockage up on top, so we had to clean it and uh, we didn't get any more water after we cleaned it because of the uh, debris and the dirty water coming out of it. So uh, it had a week, a week's time now to get cleared up and clean. So hopefully everything looks good and we can get some uh, clean, fresh water right now. Looks like the trail is actually really nice today. No. Uh oh, sing in. And it's running. We're running good. Oh nice. yeah. Perfect. Way better than the last time. That is awesome. Everything back to normal. Okay, you can throw it up. There's too much ice. Yeah, there should be a, a rock down there. You can just kick it and break it loose and then you can put that bottle in there. <laughs> My lid froze. Maybe you run some water in, rinse it out, and there you go, clean it up a little bit. Fill it all the way up, or should we? So it's easier to carry. Yeah. Okay, ah. jump. So Isabel's prepping a quick little lunch here. What are we having? Mashed potatoes and... Spam. Okay. Just for now so we can get to work and enjoy, <laughs> get the work done. And then later we have a little special dinner tonight. It's going to be fondue with salmon and shrimp. Our trim survived the transportation. It didn't get too wet. So uh, these are all the pine trims we're gonna put up along the ceiling edges and wall. Downstairs and upstairs. So we should have quite a bit. So I'm going to show you real quick what we're doing this weekend. I'm going to put trim pieces in the corner of the wall and the ceiling right here. And we're going to use pine. Kind of like this. Use finish nails and attach it to the wall. This is one of the projects we're going to do this weekend. 
And then I'll take you upstairs real quick. Isabel's waiting for her water to heat up. In the meantime, I'm getting stuff ready for our project. Generator's getting warmed up for later. So where we finished last week, we're going to continue with the paneling on the very top to cover up the ridge beam. So right over here. Okay, now let's take a look at the pieces I pre-cut. So I cut a 45 degree angle on each side. And we're going to span it all the way across. Perfect. Okay, we got studs every 24 inches. Okay, so we get some of the paneling up here and I changed my mind instead of having the light fixture up in the ceiling I'm gonna actually put it over here on the wall Let's see if I can turn around real quick here show you so right here that way when you lay in bed and you want to read something you have the light behind you instead of right in front of you or above you so I think that'll work way better I got the generator started up so we can listen to some music Get warmed up. Fire is going really good. And let's see who is winning this one. <laughs> yeah, we'll do some hanging out in the cabin today, relax, and then see what the weather is doing tomorrow. Maybe we go ski tomorrow morning. Four three. Woo. Which one do you want of those games? <laughs> two and two Venezuela. Ooh. Ooh. It's not looking good. Mm -hmm. That was a good one. That was a good roll. Okay, your turn. I get to get one card. Adlin? Adlin was going crazy because he heard some knocking noise and then all of a sudden we heard that big rumbling noise, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see if that's the roof or if something else happening. That was scary. Hold on, hold on. I hope it was a roof going down. Oh yeah. Yep, the roof unloaded. <laughs> wow. Whew, that was kind of She's scary so for a second. <laughs> Let's take a look. Yep, it finally happened. Yep, it's almost clear. Whoo, the chimney is still there. Perfect. And here's our snow. <laughs> that was scary. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, we always know what it is, but when it happens, it's kind of different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. The knocking was weird, though. The knocking, yeah, like. Duck, dunk, dunk. But I think it was just it was because it was. The icicles falling. Yep. All right. <laughs> We're good. So we're getting ready for our fondue. I'm gonna cut the salmon in little one inch cubes, three quarter cubes.
So this is the second time I've done this. And a former work colleague told me about this. Use salmon in a fondue. So we'll try this again. The first time it was excellent. It was one of the best salmon I've ever I've ever had. I'm going to use onion powder. Garlic salt. Still closed. Never been used, so we'll cap. So we're going to just mix this up a little bit, let it soak, we'll give it some time and get the fondue oil ready and hot. At the same time, while this is all happening, I'm going to get some shrimp ready to go. Probably do a little... Okay, so now we're doing the shrimp. I'm just going to put some shrimp into this cup here. And I'm going to use uh, garlic salt. Onion powder. And seasoned salt. How's the oil? I don't you know. See, is it sizzling a little bit or? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. They're actually really good. From Valdez. In the fall, we have chocolate fondue with all the blueberries that we pick. Oh, really? We should try it. Oh, we should try it, yeah. Absolutely. And it's good.
Good boy. Good boy. He had them. You spin? Spin. Sit. You get in your place. Atlin, get in your place. Place. Atlin. Leave it. German Schupfnoodles, <laughs> again, <laughs> hash browns, spam, onions, egg, and cheese. A knife. Do you want one? What? The Schupfnoodle. I have one. Try now because it's different than what we did last night. I like it better this way. Me too. Let's cut some firewood. It is super slick here. It's kind of, it's raining a little bit, but right here it's about 30 degrees now. So it freezes as soon as it hits the surface. Yeah, it's really slick.
Okay, we're all loaded up again. And now we're heading back to Wasilla. We brought along some firewood again for our fireplace in Wasilla, spruce. Everything's loaded up. And here's my crew. Adlin in the back. Good boy. Are you guys ready to get back home? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. All right, we'll do it anyway. We come back next weekend. All righty. Hope you guys enjoy the weekend again and also our video. And uh, hopefully we'll see you uh, at our next video, our next adventure. 